Here with a lesson on manners in a digital world is the great-great-grandson of Emily Post, Daniel post -Senning. Good to have you with us. Thanks so much. It's good to be here. It's a pretty hot topic. Everybody, gets worked, everybody gets worked up about this. <laughs> and the first guy said what you said as well. Bad grammar and Bad spelling. Grammar. What do we do? How did we get here? Well, we need to start investing in good habits. We're in new territory. And until this, this becomes a standard and expectation, it's up to each of us to take a little more personal responsibility yep. and say, I need to pay attention to how I'm behaving here. So let me ask you this. Uh, text messaging is how a lot of communication gets done these days. Texting emails. Te is there a, a line at which you're saying, okay, s stop texting and actually make a phone call? Where's that line for people? Whenever content starts to get emotional, it's really hard to communicate emotions with the written word, <laughs> mm -hmm. particularly emails in business. When you start yes. to feel that there's some emotional content going on there, probably time to pick up the phone. I love that because so many times things get lost in translation. Yeah. Somebody on the other side or yeah. even I might get my feelings hurt and it's like, what are you saying? And then, well, you, start the quick, then you start the quick fire emails. <laughs> oh, bad. <laughs> There's so much rich information in this kind of exchange, this face-to-face -face exchange between people who are sharing space. And yeah. That, that, that goes away when we get this electronic brick wall between us. And it's really important that we keep this skill alive in our lives. It's a, a capacity like any muscle, and if we don't exercise it, we lose it. What's going to happen? I'm not going to say what I'm going to ask you. What do you think is going to happen with grammar, social skills, because mm -hmm. we are doing this? Is this going to hurt us? I'm the eternal <laughs> optimist, and I, I think that the younger generation, the, the generation that we're calling digital natives, are going to lead the way. Those of us who are new to this territory, new to this communication, are still struggling to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But I noticed the young man talking about being disappointed with bad grammar in texting. Right. And oftentimes I hear about parents and grandparents who use the text speak and the kids say, you know, that that's so 10 years ago, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, I sent a lot of emails. I cannot remember the last time I sat down and hand wrote a card. Mm. But I made my son send all of his birthday thank you cards handwritten. What great practice. Which is good practice. For adults, what, what should we do? When, when should we stop and take the time and write something by hand? The physical handwritten thank you note will add weight to your thanks. So mm -hmm. when the thank you is for something important, a gift, someone's treated you to a meal, or here's a real tip for all those job seekers out there, after an interview, if someone's taken the time to give you an interview, follow up with a handwritten thank you note. Really? Oh, okay. Wow. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I still write handwritten thank you and it has a lot. I do think it has a lot more meaning. And it's an yeah. opportunity for distinction. Not everyone's going to do it. So you have a real right. opportunity to set yourself apart. Now here's the key one, dinner. You go out to dinner, yeah. Yeah. everybody's on their cell phone. Sometimes the person you're with is on their cell phone. I call it the cell phone security <laughs> blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I'm in an uncomfortable or slightly new or potentially awkward situation, this is such a, a rich environment, so comfortable, so familiar, and just practicing leaving that phone in your pocket, in your car, keep it off the table for sure. Right. Um, really important. Is it okay to have your phone at a business meeting? You know, after all, you can't really, sometimes when you're working, people expect you to respond immediately. What, talk, talk to me about that. That's a hard one for me. If there's a call that's so important, it might take you away from the people that you're with. A little warning in advance can go a long way towards making the situation easier for everyone to understand. It doesn't look like you're constantly evaluating whether the incoming call How is more you important are. <laughs> than the person that you're with. So an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Let I people like know that. ahead of time. If you're hosting a meeting, if you're the organizer, set standards early on. Tell right. people, we're going to meet for 50 minutes. I'm going to ask you to keep your phones away, and we're going to allow for 10 minutes every hour for people to check emails and make calls. Terrific ideas. Daniel, thank you so much. Make sure that you pick up a copy of Daniel's book. There's all that information and more. Manners in a digital world.